Alrighty, we've got a Gen 3 Wagner. This is the same as the Titan, I think it's 540, 640s. Um, and it won't prime. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to rather well, we've got another video where we show you on a machine that's not an actual uh, hasn't been used. So this is one that's actually been used. So I'm going to show you exactly what's going to happen and what to expect. So it's just not priming. I know that it's just a blockage because we've uh, only recently serviced this like within the last month. So I'm just going to go through it step by step, step, and then you can see exactly how we do it. So first thing we're going to do is I'm going to remove this retaining nut. Next I'm going to grab a punch. And I'm going to hit the, um, the the pickup hose holder. Now, if you'll notice when you come up to your machine, you'll notice there's two slits where the retainer sits. We're not going to make sure we don't slot strike them because if we do, we're going to crack it. So I'm going to strike it in a solid section in the middle, and it's just a quick drop. And that's all I need. And this is going to have a little bit of water build up purely because there is a. Um, a little bit of like a, a neck where it can retain a little bit of water. I'll move his camera back a fraction just to keep everything in line. Yep, there we go. All right. So I'll move my return hose. Now, what I'm looking for, everything else can sit there, is here in the inlet valve first and foremost. So I'll just tilt that up. Make sure we're still in frame. Okay, so first thing I'm looking for is in here. I can either just give it a light tap and make sure you never push hard because there is a cage on the inside and if you push hard on that cage you will break it and then it goes from one thing to another. All right, I can see that there's no blockage here so I'm going to take this big nut off and it is a big nut. Um, it's a one and three quarter inch so it's a massive socket that we use otherwise you need a big spanner. By removing this, I can now inspect it properly on the inside. And this is, just knock it out a little bit. And I, when, I, when I remove it, I'm not hitting the ball. I'm hitting the outer seat. Never, ever put pressure on the ball because, like I said, it'll crack. Well, I don't even need to push it. I'll just show you that while it's out of it. So when, when you've got the ball on the inside there, if you push hard against that ball, it's going to crack this little centre section. And what will then happen is this ball will always wedge in there and you will not be able to get it to work. Then you have to go back and retain, uh, replace this uh, ball cage or this ball retainer. So from here I can see there's no problem there. Next thing I inspect while I've got it all, all out is the seat. And what I do is I look for the inside groove. I'll just grab a rag. So I'm looking at the inside groove and making sure that there's no gro nothing grooved or nothing uh, injected. And on this side here, I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but there is an injection just there. I'll point to it. So on this side, right there, really not too sure if it's coming up on the camera, but just there, there is a slight injection, which means that this side of the, the seat cannot be used. So I'll go to the other side and I'll check that. Okay, and I'll look at that again up close. And that side is suitable. So when I put it back in, I'll make sure that the ball is sitting on this side and not on the other side. So I'll put this back in now. So the cage will go in, the seat will go in first. Make sure I get the right side back in as I just dropped it. So that's this side here. Next, I'll inspect the ball while it's out. And all I'm looking for in the ball is any grooves or any injections or pressure injections. And this ball is good. And I'll follow it up with the cage. Before I put the cage back in, I should take the seal out that retains the cage. So there's a little, there's a seal just here on the lip there. So I'll put the cage in first. And then I'll put the seal back in. So that seal just retains the cage in its place. Okay, next thing I'm going to look for is in this return hose. And I'll show you how to test that. So the easy way 
suggest to give it a little poke and that'll tell you if there's anything blocked up in it. The other way to do it is the machine is in the prime position. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to blow against this and that's what should happen. Nothing should, I shouldn't be able to blow through. If there is a blockage or if there is something causing um, uh, something causing a blockage, it, it'll do this. But when there's no blockage, it just holds and seals. So now I know that the inlet valve in this pump is good. Uh, sorry, the outlet valve, which is in there. And I'll go back and reassemble the retainer. Sorry, the inlet valve. Always do everything by hand before you go to power tools. Lock that in. And back into our hose retainer. And remember this, this shape here, will line up with the back corner there. So there's only one way to put this in, otherwise you'll get air pockets. That goes in nice and easy. And finally, our clip. I see that this guy's pickup hose is not sitting in there correctly. So I'll just push that back in and lock it in for him. Got a lot of paint that's up around it. I might need a bit of a scrape. I still just want to go in. Use our small punch and give it a light tap. There we go. That's better. Obviously, uh, in our workshop, we have all the tools on hand, which make things a lot easier. But you can see it's not an exceptional amount of tools. All right, that's now ready to get tested. Grab some water or we'll give it a go. Okay, so now our pump is in water. Just give the oiler a couple of squirts. Now, first thing that should happen is if, we, if everything is working fine, is we should get bubbles in our water. And that should just come in view. And what that what those bubbles are is actually the air that's in the line and the pickup line just being pushed out by the water that's being picked up. Okay. Now in the prime position I need a continuous uh, stream so I can't have it going on and off, on and off, on and off. On and off indicates that there is, no, there is still a blockage in the pump, whether it's in the inlet valve or the outlet valve. So that's nice and steady. Switch it over to spray. Uh, to the back. And this should completely stop there. that the paint line has actually loaded up. So now our paint line is loaded up, which is why you could, why the pump has stopped. Now in this position, without me pulling on the trigger, I should hear, nothing should be coming, I shouldn't hear a hissing, nothing should be coming out of here. Now with the Wagners, you can just hear that little bit of creeping, it's because it's got a digital PSI adjustment and it's making those fine adjustments, so it's, it's picking up that little bit to um, offset the expansion in the hose. From this position now, this, this spray is good to go. Um, so just to, go, just to go back and check, first thing you do is you check your inlet. Push on it very lightly, do not push hard, because if you push hard, you're gonna break the retainer and then you go from one thing to another. If the inlet is all good, all clean, the seat doesn't have any injections, you go to your outlet, which is the one that's inside the piston. The easy test is to pick up your return hose uh, with the machine in prime and blow through it. If it blows through, you know that you have a blockage, you have to strip that and clean it. If it doesn't blow through, you know that it's all good and you should be able to reassemble it and test. Once it's reassembled, 
you wait for the air to be pumped out of the pickup hose and it'll come up through the water, you'll see bubbles. Once the air is pumped out, you should have a continuous stream. If you don't have a continuous stream, you've still got something going wrong here. Once you've got uh, all the air pulled out, you have a continuous stream, you sp switch it back into spray, you should have everything as it is now. Pressure is built up, pump is not moving until and unless I pull the trigger. If you hear a hissing noise coming from around here, and it'll sound something like this. Don't know if you can hear that. That'll be your drain valve here, or your prime spray valve. If that does happen continuously, these do wear out as well. If that does happen continuously, you just need to replace this drain valve. Ali from Westbrae, hopefully this video is of some benefit to you, and we'll see you on the next one.